I'm gonna play super safe. I'm, I'm just gonna wait for a Trollger to jump in, like that one. <gasps> Manco.store is a sponsor of my channel. A place where you can buy keys, unusuals, strangers, killstreaks, anything you wish. Decent prices, monthly giveaways, quick delivery. The link to the site is in the description. Yo, what is good everybody? It's your Russian boy, but I'll be here back with another episode of TF2 Challenges. It's the video series where people on my Discord server offer me in-game challenges and I try to complete them. By the way, if you want to drop your in-game challenge, make sure to join my Discord server. The link to it is in the description. I'm gonna open the channel for your suggestions after this video. And if you're gonna enjoy this episode, feel free to subscribe to my channel because we're only 300 away from 50k milestone. Let's hit this fucking number together. For a super special 50k video, you know what I'm talking about? Just as always, I picked five challenges for this video. Let's jump right into them. The first one says, get an airshot kill with the beggar's bazooka. Pretty simple, but also pretty fun. Let's go. It is gonna be harvest, and I already see a sticky jumping demo man. Oh yeah, and by the way, I finally got the ragdolls back. I fixed them. I fixed the config. <laughs> Now you can see the flying bodies in the air, that's fucking awesome. Yeah, yet again, I have no idea why it was broken, but I added the custom config into the folder and now it works. There are only a few commands that fixed everything, so I'm pretty happy, because that was a huge miss in that previous video that I made, where I was putty spawing people with a tone kill. You know, when Heavy does a tone kill, the ragdolls might be very funny, and I missed them all in that video. Should I make another one? Forget about it. We're going for Beggar's Bazooka air shot now. Oh yeah, jetpack. Jetpacking Pyro. Sticky jumping demo man. That's all we need on the server. Maybe even uh, jumping scout. What the fuck? <laughs> That's not something I was expecting. I want to share a little feeling with you people. I was out for a few days. I was potting. First of all, I got to my brother's girlfriend birthday party. And it was pretty intense and fun. And then, I went, finally, there it is, another one, <laughs> almost. We completed the challenge, by the way, but yeah, what I was talking about, then the next day, I went to the countryside with my friends, we went collecting mushrooms, you know, Russians do be doing that a lot, it's pretty fun. No way, he almost got me. So yeah, we collected mushrooms, we cooked shashalik, and this day was so awesome that it almost felt like we were fighting for not one day, but like several days. And it made me feel that I was out from YouTube for like a week. I wasn't making any videos just for a few days, but it feels like ages, and it feels like I'm missing something. It, it, it's such an annoying feel, because I kind of had the same feel when I was working on a job. I was working as a salesman of really expensive furniture and I was fucking good at it, by the way. And my schedule was four days of work, two days of weekend. And sometimes when your weekend is just so awesome and so saturated that you're going to different places and stuff, it feels like it wasn't two days, it was a lot more. And then when you get back to job, you have this feeling that you might have missed something important while you were out. While I'm renting, let's move to a different challenge. The sniper one, it is gonna be, get a kill using the Huntsman, but the catch is, you can only fire your arrow after having it held down for more than 5 seconds. 5 seconds, I have no idea how to count it, but the armor is gonna be shaking, that's how I know, I guess. Yeah, there it is, it's now not accurate at all. Get out of here, demo man. So that thing that I was talking about previously probably explains the human perception of time, because if the day is really really boring first of all it goes for like forever especially when you're waiting for something to happen when you're getting to the hospital for example and there is a huge queue in front of you it feels like you're sitting there for ages man when you try to remember this day a few weeks later for example it feels like this day is so fucking short but then yet again if you have a really interesting day with lots of exciting activities it flies by so quickly but if you remember it back there is so much things to remember that that day starts feeling extremely long. I have no fucking idea how that works, but it works like that, I guess. For lots of people. By the way, we managed to lose this round somehow. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop with that rant. I'm gonna get back into the gameplay. Let's kill somebody with the... I don't know how to call it. I shouldn't even try to aim. I should just spam it everywhere. The thing is, it's gonna take a while to charge the shot. So it's not gonna fly in the direction of my crosshair. Somebody on the point. 
This one is actually gonna be tough, I think. It might take a while. Get this crazy fucking medic away from me, dude. Is the shot ready? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna shoot over there. That one was pretty close. Well, at least it's only getting one kill, so it does not really matter that much. We're gonna get it. Thanks, scout. You? No. We gotta get more aggressive. We gotta have somebody running at us. This is gonna be a higher chance of killing them. Jesus! <laughs> They're flying nowhere close to the enemy! Come on. At least one. One arrow. This one. No. Does not happen. It's just a matter of time. A matter of getting lucky. And getting one kill. Let's get right into their base. Fuck it. This pyro. You. <laughs> okay, I'm taking the scout anyway. <laughs> yeah, we got it. We got the kill. <laughs> Moving to the next challenge. This one is also pretty cool. I really love doing this. Especially with the Chris Creek medic, but this time it's Criticola. So it says, get a 5 kill streak while sniping with shortstop while using the Criticola. I think we gotta switch the server to maybe some CP maps. Let's say. Yeah, let's go for CP. God fucking damn it, it's actually so difficult to rant when I'm recording a video because it is so much easier when I'm streaming because I have this feel of talking to somebody, of a uh, conversation, and when I'm trying to rant about some random shit while I'm recording a video, it feels so weird, like I'm an idiot that is sitting right next to the microphone and just <laughs> talking to no one. Uh, let's go. What is it gonna be? It is Gullywash, I got the loadout ready. I'm also gonna use Sandman just because I kinda stopped using this weapon at all. And maybe it's gonna help us with the completion of this challenge. I don't like that scout. I don't like this scout! Okay, it's getting way too fucking dangerous. Let's get out of here. They kinda only have scouts in their team. Let's drink it right over here. Okay, this counts. This is a snipe. Kinda. Kind of a snipe. Give me some heals. I'm gonna drink this shit. And I'm going in. Someone should die to it, like that engineer. Yes! Another one. That's two. And we leave. We should get on top. It's almost there. Oh, we got back out. Yeah, of course. That's how it all ends. But guess what, if I'm not gonna die now, I keep on with the challenge, because that's how it works, that's the rule. If I don't die in the end of the round, I keep doing the challenge. I gotta get three more kills. Jesus Christ, that two shot. Ooh, now the short stuff scout. I'm in a culture as well, I see. Let's drink it, and maybe kill that pyro. Pick me. How the fuck didn't you die? Oh no, there's no fucking way he survived that, come on! <laughs> Dude! No way he survived! Oh yeah, yeah, this is it. This is why you need Ragdolls enabled. Now I remember. <laughs> oh shit, I missed it. Sniping time. Who? You, scout. Die to it. Uh, I'm gonna count that one. He was pretty far away from me. I would definitely not get him if I was using the scatter gun, so that's three. Three out of five. Two more. Somebody else is gonna die, that's for sure. Four. Five, I got it. Challenge completed. That's right. The damage is actually kind of ridiculous with this combo, I really like it. I should probably make a separate video on it. Fuck off, man. I can remember doing the same shit on tip to center but with a Chris Creek medic and I was sniping people over there, that was fucking insane. I mean Chris Creek plus shortstop is a sleeper, generally. I ain't gonna get you. I ain't gonna get you, bitch. <laughs> they have no idea where to go. It's your base medic. The battlefield is over there. Just saying. I'm trying to help you out. I haven't hit a single fucking person with the ball. 
Jesus, man. Yeah, anyway, next challenge. It says, it's actually a pretty interesting one. It says, turn off the view models and hide the crosshair. Play either as a scout, a soldier, or demo man like this. And he shows the commands. Let's go for it, but... I wanna switch the, the map yet again to maybe high tower? I don't know. If it's not gonna be destroyed by bots yet again, because it's apparently a thing once more. Yeah, all the high tower servers are filled with bots, like heavy bots and sniper bots that have 1000 or 2000 plus points. Which means that they were sitting on the server for so long and they cannot be kicked. Which is fucking crazy. But this one... This one is okay. Except we have a demo man that is destroying the enemy team. With six dumps. But it does not change anything. We're gonna do it here. Right now, we're playing demo man. We don't have crosshair. We don't have view models. You might want to question, how the fuck am I supposed to hit those pipes? <laughs> well... <laughs> guess what? I don't need crosshair for that. At all. And yeah, I picked this challenge because it's actually pretty fun. Oh, that was close. It is really fun, but it doesn't really have an end to it. I should have added something like get a 10 kill streak while playing like this. So I don't know. I'm gonna play for a while, and I'm probably gonna try to get godlike kill streak with it. Is that a deal? I think so. Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> Who needs crosshairs anyway to hit those air shots? How does this work? They're just getting camped. Alright, let's put a sticky trap, I suppose. So I'm just gonna die to it. Yeah. There they come. I hear that. By the way, we're on 7k so far. Just 13 more. 13 for a godlike kill streak. That is not even gonna be a godlike because I don't have any kill streak weapons, but who cares? Who needs them, right? <laughs> Great stickies, man. This is the next level trap right there. He's definitely gonna kill somebody. Just watch. Watch! <laughs> Told ya! That's 14, by the way. We're getting there. Just a little bit more. We're getting in there. What did I just fucking kill? I think this pipe dropped from the top trying to backstab me and accidentally died to my pipe. 18. Just two more kills. Two. And that's it. One more. You, Pyro. Come on. Someone! Okay, there we go. 20. 20! Challenge completed! This is godlike without crosshair, because who the fuck needs it? But I'll actually keep playing this, because for some reason it feels weirdly satisfying playing without the crosshair and view models. Imagine actually playing without crosshair the entire time. I don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference, honestly. I was playing without crosshair as a scout, I can remember, and I was doing just as well. Actually, setting up traps is difficult. That's what is difficult. I can't aim them properly. <laughs> the only thing that works worse without the crosshair. <gasps> oh god, that was fucking close. If you actually went in my direction, fuck off. Fuck off, y'all. Not dying to this. 30 kill streaks, still going. No problem. I spoke too soon. Actually not. Actually, yeah. Should have been silent. Every time I say something like that, something cocky, I fucking die. <laughs> oh, anyway, it went even further than I expected. 31 kills. Meanwhile, we're moving to the final challenge of today's video, which is get a 5 kill streak with Darrowhead, but they all have to be air shots. This might be difficult. I'm really good at air shotting people with Dire Head, but if I direct a scout, for example, and he's gonna insta die to it, it's gonna kind of ruin my air shot kill streak. Nice aim. <laughs> okay, there's one. We start. We start right now. One air shot. And I think I I wasted it already by killing this fucking spy that was standing still. I decided to switch high tower server, <laughs> high tower server to a different one. To a little bit more serious high tower, where I have 
five fucking spice in my team, but that does not matter. What matters now is hitting those air shots that went right through you, I swear. So I cannot really kill people if it's not an air shot. If I kill the guy normally, that resets my counter. Is that right? Or am I missing something? Will anybody jump me? Yes. Okay, there it goes. There's the first one. Don't headshot me. I have a jetpack pyro. No, it's my pyro. I need some more soldiers. I really hope I'm gonna complete the challenge fast enough because I have uh, kind of a bad hangover after yesterday. And if I was not really noticing it previously in the beginning of this video, now I can definitely feel it. Oh, thank god, soldier. You saved me. Yeah, I wanna eat something. Maybe that's gonna make me feel better. Don't die to it, please. That's two. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm counting that one. Not killing you, though. I want to kill you instead. But I'm scared to shoot them because they can fucking die to one rocket. And that is gonna be bad. Alright then. We're just waiting for another opportunity. That's all I can do. Just sit here and hope for people to jump in. Three. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Two more. Should I seriously reset it now? Or what? Like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. That was definitely not an air shot. So I guess I should reset. Or something. I have no idea, man. I don't have anybody to question. I guess we reset. Kick that yep guy. So annoying. Mm. Yeah, there we go. That one high tower. Should I go for them all? Should I drop down? Yes, I should. <laughs> Not getting me a bitch. Nice shot, sniper. <laughs> Can't kick. Who the fuck are they trying to kick, though? I don't understand. Oh, that's an air shot. That is the first one. He was in the air. He jumped. So that counts. They actually kicked the Villisters. I think they kicked the guy they wanted to kick me. I'm not sure yet, and I'm a bit confused. But I guess that that is exactly what happened. Awesome. <laughs> Goddamn fucking soldiers, man. I should not fight you. You're weak. You're gonna die to one rocket. Can I just... Like, go away! Okay, you pick the pack, right? No, they, they still can die to it. Oh yeah. Second one. We got two. Charge me. Standing over yet again. This challenge is definitely gonna take a while. One, by the way. Two. This is a lot better. If they're gonna be full HP, kill this fucking bitch! Oh man, this slime scout. Yeah, he's kinda scary. And I cannot fight him, because if I do, he's gonna get one shot. I need my team to get these people away from me. These scouts. These scouts? Where's the soldier? I saw him. Is that him? <laughs> Three. Three. We're doing it. Two more yet again. Just don't shoot scouts. If the scout is jumping me, how the fuck did I miss that? If the scout is running at me, just run away. And that's it. Four. One last. One last air shot. And it's done. I'm gonna play super safe. I'm, I'm just gonna wait for a trollger to jump in, like that one. <gasps> and he does not die from that insane air shot. But now he does. Five. Five without killing anybody normally. Five air shots it is. Challenge completed. All five completed today. 
fucking awesome. <laughs> no packs are gonna help you. Okay, for real now, I seriously gotta go. I gotta eat something because shit. Not feeling too good. Yeah, that is gonna be it for today's episode of TF2 Challenges. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment, and of course subscribe for more weekly content in the future. Have an amazing day, everybody. See you in the next video. Peace.